Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am doing a grocery haul and I am just beside myself at how much it just cost for groceries for this week. I spent $209, I think the total came to, and that included paper towels, toilet paper, some baggies for the boys' lunches, and one little pack of diapers, you guys. And I spent $209, it looks like I got barely anything you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you feel like you are spending an insane amount on, on groceries right now and it's not even making it through the week at all so i just spent all of this mostly for the lunches and the crazy part is some of the things are out of stock they didn't even get me everything that i originally placed on my order so i didn't even get everything that i wanted so i will need to go do another order or go to the store at some point during the week but let me know in the comments if you guys are finding that you are just spending a ton of money and you're not really getting nothing and you're finding it just hard to kind of make it to the next week as far as grocery goes times are crazy life is crazy we're all just trying to make it and survive out here so this is a whole 209 dollar order you guys doesn't look like it peep the random paper towels over there excuse my dirty dishes um but this was 209 dollars of groceries and I've been kind of shopping and comparing between Aldi, Hy-Vee, Walmart and it seems like the cost is coming out to the same so it doesn't matter where I shop so I've just been using Instacart and doing Hy-Vee versus Aldi because Hy-Vee has more of drinks and things like that that the kids like for their lunches and some other things that I like as far as sandwiches and stuff goes. So this is everything that I got. I got another thing of water. We usually go through about a case of these a week and I've shared many times. I just do the smaller bottles for the kids. Just works out better. And water is not getting wasted because like everything else, water is not cheap either. <laughs> um, I grabbed two cans of small little olives for my salads along with two different bags salads. This will hopefully last me through the week. I got me some bread and butter pickles, chips. This is going to be for sandwiches. Thing of goldfish for tanks, lunches through the week. I needed some more sandwich bags along with like the snack size bags. I like to use the snack size for like the goldfish, little crackers, things like that. I got some lettuce for our sub sandwiches along with some carrot sticks. Tink loves carrots and his lunches. I like to take carrots for my lunch with some ranch. I got a tomato and then one cucumber <laughs> along with some pancake syrup. Now, I was trying to do the most cost efficient, so this is the cheapest one. It probably tastes like trash, but our favorite kind was like $5, and I just did not want to spend $5 on pancake syrup. So I opted to try out the store brand, and we'll see. Got a thing of chocolate milk for the kids some vegetable oil this little tiny old freaking bottle was a four dollars i only got this because lagan has been asking for fried chicken so i did get some chicken thighs that you'll see in a second i grabbed me some submarine dressing for my sub sandwiches along with that i wanted to try this the hawaiian sweet to mini sub rolls so this will be for me and lagan both to take sandwiches to work he loves sandwiches especially when i do sub sandwich bread we we're almost out of toilet paper, so I did get a thing of toilet paper. I did also need laundry soap and along with like fabric softener, but we have enough for me to do laundry this weekend and that will last us until the next time I get paid, which is next week. Then I will buy those things when I do my other grocery haul. So I just got what we absolutely needed. We literally have like two rolls of toilet paper that the way that tank wipes his butt and all that, them two rolls are not going to make it until next Friday. I got some more chocolate chip cookies for the boys. These are for my lunches. I just do the chicken like this. It's just easier. I used to do the can, but I felt like I was wasting it because I was storing it in a little container, putting it in the fridge and then forgetting about it. So I've been just doing it like this so I can take it with me, throw it in my salads um, when I take salads to work. I grabbed some ravioli. This is my favorite, hands down. So this will be dinner for one night. Um, I like to make this with some Alfredo sauce, a side of broccoli, and that'll be an easy, quick dinner after work. Of course, some Cheetos for the lunches because that is always a must for lunches and snacks. I've been wanting biscuits and gravy. So I got me some home style of biscuits along with some sausage and I will be making my gravy from scratch. So that'll be my breakfast in the morning. 
And then back here, I got some hard boiled eggs because I'm lazy and I don't feel like boiling any. I could have saved money by not buying these, but it is what it is. Sometimes I like to cut corners and the convenience kind of trumps the price. Um, some more French toast sticks for the kids. Some shrimp for dinner one night. That time of year. So, I, of course, I had to get some eggnog along with corn dogs. Those are for a good weekend or after work. Sometimes the boys just want corn dog and fries. Keep it simple. Then down here, I just got some chicken thighs. Chicken is literally outrageous. This was $2.99 a pound. And I think this was actually, yeah, like a pound point twenty five. So that was actually not a very bad price at all for chicken because chicken has been through the roof. Like a bag of chicken wings is like $15 to $20 right now, which is insane. And I love chicken, but I've been kind of not buying it as much just because for one like big pack of chicken, I can get like other groceries and make something else. <laughs> Uh, then I got some turkey breast. We need some more. At least this time I got a big pack. Last time it literally felt like there was 10 slices because I didn't pay attention to the ounce size. But I got this one for sandwiches for me and Lakin. Then I liked this for just quick sandwich, not sandwich, quick snacks for me. Um, and I also like to make like a crab salad little thingy. So I'll use some of that. This is like super flaky. <laughs> Some yogurts for takes lunches. And then, of course, we always need juice boxes. So they've been loving the high C for the longest. This was never in stock, but hy vs actually been having it. That's just a local grocery store. I don't know if hy V is beyond Illinois. I don't even see them everywhere. But it's a local grocery store that can be kind of pricey on the pricey side. But with the way inflation and everything else is costing, I've just been shopping there because the price point comes out the same. And you will hear Tank and Samir in the background. They're like running and playing tag and all that. Of course, diapers because we are still struggling to get Samir out of them. We're hoping our freaking goal is to get that boy out of diapers absolutely before kindergarten. But it's been a struggle. We are just on this whole autism journey and trying to just get answers and get things figured out. So because of him being nonverbal and kind of struggling with communication, Samir, we... um have not been able to conquer potty training just yet. And then a half a gallon of milk, because I bought a gallon last time and it got spoiled. This is why I stick to half gallons. <laughs> There's a little leaky, I don't know why that's randomly there. And then I did get a loaf of regular bread. We've been liking this kind, just because the slices are bigger and they make good sandwiches. And then also like good um, grilled cheese, things like that. I did get four pizzas, but Samir wanted to be a big boy and help mommy when I brought the groceries in. So I did get two cheese and two pepperoni, but he put two of them in the freezer. He was wanting to help mom out. So that is everything, you guys. Like I said, this was like 200 bucks for all of this, and I feel like I didn't get anything. Hopefully this will last a week, and we will do this all over again once the new week starts. If it is your first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe, like the video, check out some of my other content. I have lots of different videos. I... Do my best to upload and post you guys, but I work full time. Life gets crazy. Your girl be tired. And I got three boys that have nonstop energy, as you see. They never sit down. And it's almost bedtime. It is literally nine o'clock by the time I'm filming this because I did a late Instacart order and it just got here at like 8.45. So we're gonna put all the groceries away and then relax out for the night. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you say hi in the comments and until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.